Howdy guys, it's Nintendo Capri Sun here, and welcome back to Phoenix Riot Ace Attorney Case 5 of Trials and Tribulations. In the last episode, we... Uh, just quizzed Larry. With very little luck, I might add. Oh, there I am. I'm still up at this hour, reading through the trial record of a certain case. It's the first case my mentor Mia had ever handled in a court of law. The horrifying truth is that I refuse to accept- no. The horrifying truth that I refuse to accept is holding me hostage here within its pages. Ugh. Dahlia Hawthorne. The girl who stole my heart and stuck it in a blender and hit frappe. What you have read. What is written here? This wasn't the Dahlia I knew. After falling into the Eagle River, I was somehow miraculously saved. But I ended up catching a cold that seemed to knock me around the world and back. I feel dizzy, my ears are ringing, my throat bends, and my head is on fire. Well, it already looks like it's on fire. Black fire. But I will recover! I have to recover by this afternoon! I, I said that literally with my fist up in the air. I have to meet with the most ill-tempered witness imaginable. But I know that he will be able to help me somehow. I don't know, man. Freaking Larry. February 9th. No, February 9th. Right. You sure you're well enough to be doing this? You still look a little green in the face. Or maybe Viridian, in artist speak. <laughs> Actually, my fever has gone down quite a bit. Well, it would in this weather, holy crap. Only 102.2 degrees, nothing to worry about. Dude! That's bad. Oh, it's weird how Phoenix is sick in this case, just like he was in the first case. You know. You weren't bad, Edgeworth. Pretty impressive despite this. Dude, he was awesome! We're not in the clear yet. The main point of contention tomorrow is going to be the murder weapon. Yep. In the end, the Shichishido did not deliver the deadly blow, which means there must be another sword hiding out there that we don't know about. Another sword. The Master Sword! This really is like Zelda, man, I'm telling you. You'll dig up the water, the water meppin yourself or you'll eat your coat. Wow. Don't pull a Proton John on us here. That was him that did that, right? That ate his hat? <laughs> I know somebody did that, and I forget who. Thanks again, Edgeworth. I'll handle things from here. Yeah, <laughs> that is probably for the best. Actually, I was thinking about paying the old precinct to visit. It's something I want to look into. And that is... Our client's background, naturally. Uh. Yep. I have a feeling that we've met before. All I want is confirmation, one way or the other. And since I probably won't be getting that from you, I'm sorry, Edgeworth. Jeez, give me a break here, man. I bid you adieu, right? Take care. Oh, see you, Edgeworth. Can I at least get a high five before you go? Maybe we can take a picture together? Why? You need to be somewhere? Yeah, he's got a date with Maggie, probably. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. Dude, don't you guys have, like, helicopters or something? At least go check on Maya. That's right, Maya's still stuck over at the Inner Temple. Maya, can you hear me? If you can, we're coming to get you! No, anyway. I better be the first to know so I can cross it. And hopefully not fall again. <laughs> No problem, pal. Just try not to give me that cough of yours, okay? Alright, I'm off. <sighs> Alone again. Naturally. 
But in the meantime, I've got to continue collecting evidence. Alright then. So what can we do about this? These are wooden boards. They are used to block the bridge. Earthquakes. Oh, God. If my memory serves me correctly, Edgeworth isn't exactly a fa Yep, I was just about to say that, but, you yeah, know, you reminded me. Nice little reference there to case 1-5. I'm not sure when 1-5 actually came out. Because I know it was like retcon sort of after the second game, or possibly after this one, but I don't know. I don't know why I would need to examine... So I guess Bikini is the only one who uses this. <laughs> well, yeah, you probably should have. I've been bringing my cell phone with me everywhere lately. Huh. So I got a little bit of a cold myself. I need to blow my nose in a second here. Well, I feel a sneeze coming on is what it is. Oh, of course, you gotta have a yawn in there, too. You just can't have it without those yawns, you know? Come on, please. It's for art's sake, I swear. There's only one guy I know. Oh, boy. Dude. I'm talking about the heroin here. The what? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't. No, I don't want to bring back that counter. Frick, frack. A fool's fool, fool's fools, who foolishly accept the foolishness of a fool's fool. That's a new record right there. Wouldn't you agree, Phoenix Wright? Eh? Wait a second, I know you. <laughs> Your reflex is in mind. Oh, that's right, Phoenix doesn't know that she's back yet. Ugh. Yup. Whip a dead horse. Isn't that one of your American sayings? So, no, it's not. And I'm not on the brink of anything. Come on, Nick. Tell her, would you? She must model for my picture book. Franzi's whiplash splash. I'm not Googling that. Nope. Yeah, really? <laughs> Jeez, man. Oh, poor Larry. Everybody's teaming up on him. I've got to blow my nose, man. Ugh. Get some more toilet paper. Honk. Honk. You know what else is funny? Last night, I spilled my bottle of aspirin all over the floor. So there's a bunch of pills on the floor. So it looks like I tried to <laughs> do something really bad. It's okay. I don't care what anyone says. I'm telling the truth. I saw what I saw. When you saw it. She flew, I'm telling you. Whoosh! Just like that dude with the red underwear. Don't think I'm gonna forget you guys when you come crawling back to apologize. <sighs> Off he goes. Mm. Phoenix Wright, it's been a year since we last met. A pleasure to see you again. Do you mean that? Okay, what have you been up to? Have you been in Germany all this time? That's right. Sending my perfect win record. Naturally. Oh, joy. Sounds like she hasn't changed a bit. Has it really been a year since we first met? I am Franziska von Karma. The prodigy. Well, in that case, I guess I better smack my bitch up. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. REVENGE! Francisca was born and raised in Germany and became a prosecutor at the age of 13. Her father was the legendary prosecutor Manfred von Karma. He had a perfect win record for 40 long years, but now he is gone from this world. Don't tell me you still hold a grudge against me. Because of what happened to your father. Phoenix Wright, you will fall before me. This I promise. Okay. But it will be for my sake, not my father's. 
Are we clear? Yes, Crystal. My name's not Crystal. Alright, so what about the trial? It's like we really should be talking right now. Jeez, in truth, I was shocked. I came back to America with the intention of defeating you. Instead, it was my little brother who was leading the defense. What? What are you talking about? Oh, you mean, uh, oh. I was about to say, stop for a second. Ed Jorth was pulled into being a prosecutor by the last arm as well. Miles Edgeworth told me something very interesting, you know. He said this case has a special significance to you. It's because it does. And that's precisely why I'm here. Your personal involvement will make crushing you into teensy weensy pieces all the better. It's probably the fever, but she's so openly hostile that it's almost kind of cute. Ow, no smirking. No whipping the sick. That foolish fool doing such a foolish favor for such a foolish lady. <laughs> Man, how many different words are you going to come up with for what you're about to do to me? <laughs> Cold Killer X. Boy, oh boy. Oh, you did. <laughs> well, it's a long flight from Germany to, to America. Well, I was... or I was young. Attempting to cross a burning bridge, did you even consider the dangers? I didn't care. I love Maya. Okay. She's got to be okay, I just know it. Plus, I need to ask her about what really happened at the inner temple that night. I know. Well, I guess that's all we can do here, unless... Well, you saw all this. I mean, I don't know. Present the picture. Yow! I refuse to help you, Phoenix Right. Should know better than to try. Huh. Any profiles? I suppose it's what we've been doing. Nope, okay. Edgeworth? Nope. Alright. Just trying to see if maybe, you know, I don't know, you guys were together or something? Nope. No, she's not gonna, she's not budging here. Mia? Nope. Okay. Gato? Please. No. Okay, fine. Be that way. Ugh. Alright, to the main hall. Let's see what we got here. February 9th. Hazakura Temple. Main hall. I suppose bikinis in here. Tomorrow. That was one long sigh. Oh, hello. Sister Bikini. That is the most ridiculous name, I swear. It's every time I say it, it's just like, what? It's my, 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 I didn't know you were here. How are you doing? Whoa. Uh. Mood swings? <laughs> oh, not really. You did what you could. Huh. Mystic Elise, uh, that is kind of like, huh. Uh-huh, we still- what the frick? Oh no, Phoenix doesn't know about that too. Yes, I'm afraid I do. She hasn't been seen since the morning after the incident. The morning after? Because nobody. The morning after? Who saw her and where? Because I haven't seen her since, like. The night before, right? Anyway. Iris. I must be getting old. 
I have seriously lost faith in myself. Oh. No, I know. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> there has to be at least one character in this game that doesn't lie to us, jeez. Yeah. What's up? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to... It's easy to think that you saw something, you know, I mean, I don't know. Memory is so... weird like that, you know. They both didn't see what they think they saw. Huh. Please don't tell me that fake memories are being implanted somehow here. I don't think that would be the case. So on the night of the incident, you met Iris at the Inner Temple. Okay, here's the thing. It's like when I was talking earlier about Pearl getting... Well, I did say before, though, that, that that's not the case. Because Pearl wouldn't have any reason to call her. But is it possible there were two irises? Or maybe there was an iris and a Dahlia. That's why I keep thinking maybe Iris is not Dahlia. I don't know. Okay... That's right. Well, if she didn't come back, then she and Maya would just be stuck there together, so it really wouldn't be that much better, except that they could hold on to each other for warmth, I guess, but... <laughs> huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've heard that. So I wouldn't be surprised if the next big one levels the training hall. Ugh! They keep talking about earthquakes, it sounds like probably one's gonna happen here, but man. Mm hmm. It means there's no other bridges leading to it. Or the forest. So a criminal would be trapped should they choose to flee in that direction. What does that mean? Yeah, a criminal though, what? Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. But! Maya's stuck over there with a criminal and all you can do is fart? You're such an asshole. It's, oh wait, you are. Please, Gumshoe, get that bridge up faster. <laughs> what is Gum Gumshoe's not an architect. Or, well, uh, what, it's more like a, it's a handyman. He's not so handy. You should already know. Okay. <laughs> no, I already know what your measurements are. 40, 40, 40. I want to know a little more about the victim. Yes. Bad Morta. <laughs> That's okay. I'm wondering why she came to stay in a place like this to begin with. I mean, she told us herself that she wasn't here for spiritual training. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry. I can't help it. Then why do you call her Mystic Elise? Well, she's not part of the family, is she? Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, now why is that? After all, she's not here as an acolyte. We dress all our visitors as mystic. Makes their experience feel authentic. You don't address me as mystic. Or do you? Hmm. Huh. She's older than you. Okay. How do you know that? 
How can you say for sure that she's older than you? Because we talked and she told me what her age was. Uh. BAD! PLEASE! Look at this. Now she's lying too. Every single person in this game. The way I said butt just now was ridiculous. It was like, BAD! It's it like I was calling for help or something. Mm. And there's pearls. See, what I'm wondering is what would happen if somebody possessed you, or like you called on someone to possess you, and then you died while you were possessed. What would happen then? Would you... I don't know. Like, would you go back to your other form? I mean, you probably wouldn't. But I don't know. So anyway, well, whatever. She was with Miss Donum on the evening of the murder, and now she's vanished. It's all got to be connected somehow. Pearl. I knew that was going to be one of the topics eventually in here. Why do pearls have to get mixed up in this mess? Please, Mr. Wright, I know you're worried, but try to keep it together. I can't. She's the closest thing to a daughter I've ever had. Pearl, she was with Miss Donum on the night of the murder, remember? Yes, but I have a temple to run, you know? I was busy preparing for the training. I didn't see the little darling even once after we finished eating dinner. You know, last I heard she went to eat to do dishes. Maybe she went down the drain. Oh man, I sure hope not. According to the detective, she hasn't turned up at her home either. Okay, how about this? Wait a minute. What if, all that time that we were speaking to Elise, we were actually speaking to someone else who was masquerading as Elise, and then they let her spirit go, told Pearl about it, and Pearl called her, then died as her. Okay, stop. Okay, never mind. According to the detective, she hasn't turned up at her home either. Come on, keep calm. There's one place left where Pearls could be. She just has to be there. Come to, I'm counting on you to check it out for me, so please hurry the repairs up. Okay, so Phoenix thinks she's with Maya. That's possible, I guess. Anyway. I'm gonna... You know what? I, I always do this. I just like to do this. It makes me feel... So that this way, like, when I'm out investigating, I know when I found the answer. But it helps a lot to know, like, what the first, you know, step in the puzzle is. I'm convinced that Miss Elise Donum had a special significance to this temple. As to why she had a special, special significance, I believe, it has to do with her true identity. What on earth are you talking about? She was... I wonder if she is Morgan Fay. Because didn't they say like nobody knew about her before she became an author? Like there's no record of her past? To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. Suspicions? Yes. But she didn't have the play of chips on her head, so it's kind of hard to figure that out. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Miss Donan's true identity. Crystal Ball. <laughs> I mean, no. No, we don't have that, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. Yes, you should, Phoenix. YES YOU DID! No, oh, okay, not doing that again. Uh... Is there anything I can present? Do you know anything about this crystal ball? This crystal sphere... It's not from a demon warring hood, but I would guess it serves a similar purpose. If it's not from a hood, then I guess it really is from Miss Donum's staff. Look at the blood on it. Oh, poor Mr. Galeese. Mm. And the picture? Honestly, it's like the end of the world. It's not a good thing, that's for sure. To think people have the gall to call this kind of scribbling by the name of art. 
huh? If that's the sort of standard you need for the arts these days, I could be a pop diva. Sure. Well, technically you could. I mean, hell, look at me. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sure. What about the contents of the picture? What do you make of that? I don't even think I was thinking of the right person there anyway. It's definitely the end of the world. <laughs> it's rapture, y'all. What more can be said? Okay. Well, it's time we moved. Moved where, though? Courtyard? Yes! I love it when this date pops up because I know something's about to happen. <laughs>